Okay, let's go ahead and add another test to our solution. I'm gonna right click it, add, add new test, and we can add an API test just to show you guys what that looks like. Now I'm not gonna do anything with API test, but I do have API testing tutorials. Go check those out on our site. They are excellent in teaching you how to do API testing. Check it out guys. See this nice little icon that got added to the API test? There's a test flow. Now you'll get this toolbox. And now you can play with different conditions for your API test. Anyways, like I said, go check out the tutorial. But so you guys see our solution is filling up little by little. If we uh, wanted to add anything else like a new business component, uh, add a new function library, which we would have to do to our QTP test, right? QTP UFT test. It has to be associated to a library. So let me actually open up my solution so that I can show you guys how a more filled solution looks. All right, cool, so there you go. Here is our solution. Kind of something of what it would look like for a keyword driven framework. And as you guys can see here, for example, check it out. I have a, based on the icon, you guys can see this is a QTP test, a UFT test. Here's another UFT test. In here, we can look at it two ways, right? I, I can double click it like this and it's going to open up. You guys see that? It opened up this canvas view, but also along with that, it opens up an action one because inside of it, it has an action. So this action opened and now I can take a look at all of this. Let me hide all this so that it's not bothering us. There you go, make this bigger. In fact, let me hide this and I want you guys to see the properties pane now. You guys see the properties pane of the test? It has some information about it, location, add-ins, and steps that you can add if you want. But anyway, so here is some code. Actually, I've been teaching an entire VB script tutorial to get you guys really solid in your automated testing. So if you're interested in that, go check it out. It will give you all the fundamentals to become the most amazing automation engineer. And that's where all of these lines of code come from, from those tutorials. Let's go back to our solution. Check out the solution explorer. Uh, we can look at the function libraries. So this is what I want to show you guys. Another amazing feature of UFT. 